everybody, Andrew here from Go Green Compost. I'm just out in the garden today. We just had a rainstorm, so I am harvesting some greens. I always like harvesting greens right after it rains because they're just nice and plump and fresh. And what I've got behind me here is some sweet basil, and I've got quite a bit of it. I've got this and then another pot of it right back here. So I'm gonna be harvesting both of these, and it's gonna be the second time I've harvested from these plants, but we've just been having so much rain and sunshine lately that things keep producing like crazy. And I'm gonna make some pesto. Pesto is a great way to use basil. If you've got a lot of fresh basil, you can make a big batch, you can freeze it, or you can just throw it on some pasta. And I think it's a great way to get your greens. I do a very simple recipe, just the greens with olive oil, pine nuts. Uh, I don't use Parmesan, I use nutritional yeast, which keeps it vegan. I'm not vegan, but I got some vegan neighbors. And then some garlic, and you just blend that up in a food processor. I have a Vitamix, that's what I use. And I just kind of add everything to taste to get the consistency I want. I also throw in a little salt, a couple pinches of salt. But if you're harvesting greens, that's a great way to use them. I've got a bag here of some other greens I've harvested, and I'm going to be throwing those in the pesto too. So I know everybody knows basil is a component of pesto, but you can really make it with just about any edible greens. I'm going to throw some arugula, some lemon balm, some chocolate mint, and also some Thai basil in mine. So, you know, if you've got a bunch of greens and you just kind of harvest them as you go, you always get like a slightly different batch of pesto, which is fun. So anyway, that's what I like to do with my greens when I'm harvesting them, if I've got more than I know what to do with, since you can make the pesto and easily preserve it. But what do you do with your greens? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.